Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm in Naomi's nursery feeling so nostalgic. I wore this outfit when I was nine months pregnant. And here we are just a couple months later. If you don't know, I am currently a mom of two. I have a two-year-old toddler as well as a five-month-old baby girl. And today I want to go ahead and tell you guys as well as actually show you every single product that I've loved in the newborn stage for my baby girls. Not just one baby, but two. These were tested, tried, and true for both of them. So let's just say whether you're currently pregnant, you just gave birth to your baby, or you have an expecting mom in your family, this this list is going to be so helpful for you guys to give you some ideas on what you can gift a new or expecting mom because let me just say when i was searching up for these things there's so many basics that people just did not talk about like what kind of clothes should you put on your newborn whether you're breastfeeding or formula feeding what products are going to make your whole experience that much easier are there certain things you can use to get your baby to sleep deeper better and longer so today i'm going to be sharing all of the items that i feel like really gave me the best most joyous newborn experience with my baby and if you see any value in these two i'm going to be sure to link everything down below use that list below to go ahead and build your registry you can be so overwhelming to know what products you need and with all that i'm excited to get started i split everything up into categories and the first thing we're going to talk about is a baby clothing so the best outfit that i would recommend for little babies is a newborn sleepers specifically zipper sleepers these are so much easier than the ones that have the little buttons it actually unzips from the bottom so you could just take off the bottom part make that diaper change zip it up and baby is good to go these specific ones are my absolute favorite this is naomi's current size but when she was a newborn she was wearing them in the newborn size these are the model sleepers from cloud island that is actually sold at Target. Yes, Target. These are so incredibly soft. These are pretty much an exact dupe for the Kite Baby sleepers. These ones right here. These are like $30 to $40 per sleeper while you can get a pack of two of these for just $15. So I actually love that so many sleepers these days have this little cover that you can go ahead and cover their little fingers so that they won't scratch their face. And obviously depending on your climate here in Florida, it's super warm. So I would usually just keep Naomi in one single sleeper. If you are in a bit of a colder climate, I would definitely recommend to get a bunch of these little t-shirt onesies and layer them right underneath the sleeper. If you are someone who's so stressed about knowing how to dress your baby, always use this rule. You're going to want to think of what you're wearing yourself and add one layer. So if you're just wearing one t-shirt, your baby will want to wear a t-shirt plus one more layer. Target also sells pants and shirts in the exact same fabric as well. So you can definitely mix and match, but they're all in this incredibly soft fabric. So if you're looking for a kite baby dupe, this is it. So moving on to baby sleep. However you bring your baby from the hospital, whether you want to swaddle them or not is definitely up to you. We personally did like to swaddle our baby. In the beginning in that newborn, newborn stage, we would use these muslin blankets. These are from Halo Sleep and these are just cuter versions of the ones you get at the hospital. But once Naomi and Aaliyah got a bit older, I wanted something that would keep their arms down more because they were getting out of their swaddle left and right. If you notice that your baby is constantly coming out of those muslin blankets, I would recommend the Halo Sleep Sack. This is one we used for Aaliyah. She absolutely loved it. You would actually put it on like a vest. You would zip it up in the front and then you would go and Velcro the arms. Velcro swaddles are the best hack if you're somebody who doesn't know how to wrap a regular swaddle. There's no way to mess it up and Egan, my husband, found it very easy to use too. And then I want to say once baby is a little bit older at three months this is something that i just oh, i have to share big shout out to my sister-in-law she actually forced me to try this this is actually her daughter's and she let me borrow it this is the dreamland baby sleep sack this is a weighted sleep sack you see all these pouches right here they're filled with weight i don't know what's inside but this is magic naomi had such a hard time putting herself to sleep and she would only fall asleep whenever we would hold her she wanted that comfort of somebody being with her and this has just gotten her to sleep longer deeper and so much better this is the swaddle version so you actually have the velcro swaddle inside that you would swaddle down the arms and then you would just zip up the front and now that she's a little bit older i just upgraded her to the regular sleep sack in the beach how freaking stunning this has been a game changer for baby sleep and i've never heard anybody talk about it so i had to mention this to you guys they're also constantly back ordered on amazon so i would recommend add it to your registry asap so you can guarantee to get it as soon as it becomes available so we are really big sound machine people in this family this is the dream egg sound machine we used to have the one that was just set on the floor but with Naomi we decided to get a portable one she loves the heartbeat noise specifically but there's so many different nature sounds and soothing sounds on here it calms her down she just loves it and it also kind of filters out background noise so if there is a loud noise in the home it's not gonna jitter her awake and because it's portable you could really just take it on the go with you the battery lasts super long if you're wondering how should my newborn sleep especially in those beginning stages so what I would recommend is a bedside bassinet whether you're somebody who's breastfeeding or formula feeding it is so convenient to have baby right next to you that instead of having to get up out of bed to check on them at night you could really just peer in and make sure that they're okay if you are breastfeeding you could just pick a baby put them right on your bed and put them back when you're done it's the simplest thing ever this is the one that i got i'm pretty sure it's from the brand evalure i love that it was adjustable in terms of height it was also the only beige bassinet that i was able to find everything else was black white or gray and it's also got these metal legs that look like they're wood so it's actually a beautiful piece of furniture and it was super functional as well all right so let's talk pacifiers whether you decide to give your baby a pacifier or not these are the 
the two that Naomi absolutely loved. When she was a newborn, I tried the Avent ones. I tried so many different ones. They just would not fit her tiny little mouth. But the newborn bibs ones, she really liked. Plus, they're honestly the cutest pacifiers you can give them as well. The silicone ones were much softer, which she preferred. But as she got older, I tried these ones. These are the Tommy Teepee ones. And I feel like she likes them a lot better. They obviously don't look the cutest. But what I do like is that they're full silicone. You don't have to worry about water getting into the pacifier and growing mold. This is super easy to clean, super easy to sterilize too. So monitors and cameras, especially if you're going to be setting down baby and kind of leaving them upstairs or just going to a different room, having a camera set up obviously makes everything much easier. My favorite monitor is the Hubble monitor. It comes with a little webcam and it just connects over Wi-Fi. I much prefer to have a monitor that you could actually have on the table at all times instead of having it on your phone because a lot of the time I'm using my phone, but I still want to keep an eye on baby. So being able to have this just sit on the counter is super convenient. It's also a super, super clear picture. It's not crazy pixelated like a lot of the bad quality ones I've seen. I also wanted to mention if you are going to be moving baby from bassinet to crib or if you're going to be putting baby in a crib right away, look into a breathable mattress. The one that I have is from Newton Baby and this is probably the best investment you can make for your sanity. It is the scariest thing in the world when your baby starts to roll over and their face lays flat on the mattress. This breathable mattress, as you guys can see, it literally allows you to see through it, breathe through it. You could put your face on it, take a deep breath and nothing will happen. So now that Naomi's rolling over on her own, she actually is allowed to sleep on her belly. But the other night I woke up and I saw she was on her belly face down. I was so nervous, but knowing that I have a breathable mattress, I was able to get back to sleep, relax my nerves, and it really made me feel a lot better. Next, I need to mention this with night feedings because every newborn is definitely going to be having at least one to two night feedings a night. If your baby is underweight, they're not gaining as much. You are recommended to wake them up every three hours. One of the absolute best things for me was having my Apple watch. It was honestly the parenting hack of my life. Wearing my Apple watch to bed because both Aaliyah and Naomi were just losing a lot of weight in the beginning and my doctor recommended me to wake them and feed them every three hours. I would set an alarm for three hours as soon as she fell asleep and it would just slowly vibrate and quietly wake me up. It wouldn't wake up my husband. It wouldn't start on my baby. It was the best thing ever and it was the most gentle wake up for mom possible. Another thing that will make your night wakings a lot easier if you can sleep with a little bit of a light in your room. I think it's the hardest thing to wake up in the middle of the night and go from a pitch black room to turning on a light. So I actually have the hatch sound machine. I actually don't use it as a sound machine, but I really do like its night light features. You can customize the color on it. It also has a little digital clock in the front so you always know what time it is. And it's just a really nice soft light to wake up to. So perfect segue into the next category. That's everything for feeding and nursing your baby. I think I'm a really good reference point as a mom because I actually did combination feeding, meaning that I did breastfeeding as well as formula feeding. So I can offer you guys advice and tips and my favorite products for both. Starting off with breastfeeding, I did want to have a pump. I have the Spectra one, the blue one. It's a hundred times better than the pink one. I tried them both. The suction on it is super powerful. And what's great is that you can actually charge it and then remove the cord and it becomes portable. So if you know that you're going to be going somewhere and you're going to need to pump in your car, you can use this. If you want to sit on your couch and there's no outlets nearby, you can use this. And if you're more of a manual pump person, I tried all of them. I tried the Medela ones. I tried a bunch. And my favorite one was also recommended by my sister-in-law. It's the Lanislo. This one was really good, super powerful and very easy to use. I would specifically note if you are using a manual pump, try to actually hold down the pump and let the milk come out instead of just constantly going like this. Do a squeeze and wait. Let go, do a squeeze and wait. That was the way that I was able to get a lot of milk without like draining out my arm. If you are somebody who is a breastfeeding, I know a lot of people absolutely love the Haka. I actually didn't like it because every time I would stick it on, it would just like keep falling for some reason. So Haka actually came out with this. This is called the Ladybug Catcher. And the way that you use it, it has a hole right over here as you can see. So you would just take it and you would put it in your bra. And basically as you go and feed with one breast, it would catch all of the milk in here. And because it's in your bra and in your clothes, there's nowhere for it to go. So it's just super, super convenient. And it's a nice way to get that extra breast milk if you want to go ahead and store it in the freezer or even add it to a bottle. And when it comes to bottle feeding, whether you're giving breast milk or formula, you guys, one of the biggest scary things about giving a bottle when you're breastfeeding is that you're scared that your baby will have nipple confusion. I don't know the signs behind it or how accurate it is, but a bottle that I was using with Naomi in the beginning was the Evenflow bottle. I'm going to put the exact name on the screen here, but if you guys can tell by this nipple, this one actually mimics a breast the most. And when a baby latches onto this, they're not actually sucking the edge of the nipple. They take the whole thing into their mouth. So because of that, it replicates your boob, I would say the best. Plus the flow on this is super slow, which is exactly what you want because when the flow is really quick, the baby kind of gets used to it being super easy for them to eat. And then sometimes it becomes a little bit harder for them to have to work when they're at your breast. So for the first three months, we were using these. And then once I kind of started switching over to more bottle feeding rather than breastfeeding, I went back to my favorite tried and true man bottles. There's still some formula 
formula in here from when I just fed Naomi. But the man bottles, Aaliyah loved them and so does Naomi because what's great about them is that the way that they're built, they actually allow the air to escape so that the baby doesn't drink it, which allows for Naomi to have a lot less gas when she's eating, less burps. She still spits up a lot, but it's just a reflex that she has. But these are super cheap as well. They have incredible ratings, highly recommend. In terms of what formula we actually feed, we just used the Enfamil formula. We used it with Aaliyah, using it with Naomi as well. She doesn't have a sensitivity to it, so we're very happy because it's just very easy to access. So let me just say this now, babies eat a lot and they eat very often. So with the amount of bottles that you have to make for them a day, especially for formula feeding, these two things have cut my time in half. The first one is a formula dispenser. It's super easy, super cheap. You can literally just pre-portion out each of baby's feedings, which is really nice and handy. And something I did not have with Aaliyah that has made my life so much easier is the baby Brezza water warmer. So not necessarily the formula maker. For some reason, I feel like the formula maker, I don't know, I get intimidated. I feel like it's really hard to clean. I feel like maybe it won't make the formula right. Like, I don't know what it is. But the best thing is the water warmer because it keeps the water warm at all times so that you're ready to make a perfectly temperatured, is that even a word? A perfectly warm bottle that is not too hot, that is not too cold every single time. I think if you're formula feeding, this is the one thing you need to put on your registry right now. I have one upstairs and one downstairs. It is just so convenient. If she needs a bottle in the middle of the night, no more waiting for the water to boil or trying to figure out how much hot water to how much cold water to put. You just press a little button, fill up your bottle, and then dispense one of these pre-portioned formula slots and you're good to go. It's all about hacks, you guys, really. Just whatever you can do to make your life as a mom easier, I mean, I'm here for it. All right, nursing pillows. I have a ton because I kind of like to leave them everywhere. One in my room, one downstairs, one on the couch. And these are definitely the two most popular ones. This one is from Snuggle Me. It is aesthetically a beautiful pillow, but I feel like this one is better if you're going to be sitting down in a chair like this because the edges here are super thin. When I'm lying down in the bed, it kind of keeps sliding out. It's not super comfortable. You have to sit really straight when you use this. So the one that I just reached for more often was my Boppy. I especially like this cover as well because you guys know that I really love beige. It's just a perfect amount of firmness. It's not too much. It's not too little. It kept baby super stable and it kept my posture a little bit more stable too, which I really like. And then I had to mention having a glider is super, super handy. And I love it so much because every part about this is customizable. The headrest, the back, the leg. Every time I feed Naomi, I just slightly lift it up and it's just really smooth and comfortable. Plus it also has a USB charger. So for those night feedings, if I want to be on my phone, really handy. All right, getting into the fun stuff or baby's fun stuff at least. We're going to be talking all about baby play and baby loungers. I couldn't wait to speak about this. I have so much footage using this because I absolutely love the Fisher Price Snuggle Puppy Swing. I thought that this was a one-time thing because Leah loved it so much, but Naomi is obsessed with this thing too. Yes, it's huge. Yes, it's bulky, but guys, this actually works, especially in the beginning. If you need any quiet time to yourself, if you want baby to just chill, be distracted, look at you, but enjoy, not need to be held. This is the swing that did it for me. Like it gave me so much free time. You guys don't even understand. And let me just mention, if you don't want to buy this brand new, I actually was able to get mine on Facebook marketplace. You could find ones that have barely been used and they're like a quarter of the price. Just make sure that it's obviously clean. Wash everything when you get it. I'm a huge advocate from getting things on Facebook marketplace. Wherever you could save yourself an extra buck, do it mama. The last thing I will mention, it's a holy grail. I don't have it on me because I actually gave it to my sister who just had a baby because she needed these in her life. These are silverette silver nipple cups. I've spoken about them before. I'm going to pop on the video where I showed you guys them. Basically what they are is that they're little cups made of silver that after you do a breastfeeding session, you would go ahead and put on your lanolin or nipple cream and you would put this right on top. And basically what it does, it creates a barrier between your nipple and your clothes so that your clothes are not rubbing on your nipples because they can get so sensitive, especially when you're just starting the whole feeding process. The silver is also antibacterial, so it really aids in helping heal them, especially if they're sore or cracked or all of that kind of stuff. It made my breastfeeding experience so much easier. I've been talking to my sister. She said that her nipple pain ended a lot quicker this time and she really thinks it's because of this as well. So it's definitely something else to add to your registry. If you guys have already seen Baby Must Haves, you've heard about the ultimate debate. Snuggle Me or the Docatot. So Aaliyah absolutely loved the Snuggle Me. The Snuggle Me is a much softer cushion as you can see and it definitely gives that snuggling feeling to your baby. She slept in it for a really long time. Obviously she would only nap if we were monitoring her because you're not supposed to let your baby sleep in this unsupervised. This is something that was definitely a lot bigger and what I do appreciate about this is that it has a buckle here that you can open up. So if you have a very tall baby let's say they have a lot of freedom for their legs. It's a lot more versatile to use for a longer period of time. Naomi used this until almost four 
four months where the snuggle me at three months I already felt like it was too tight for her plus the cushions on the side are a little bit more firm and there's just more width here so if you have a bigger baby or you want a baby with a bit more freedom this is the one you want to opt for okay another hands-free place that you want to go ahead and put baby is a baby bouncer so a very popular one is the baby Bjorn bouncer I can't really attest to it because I never tried it out for some reason spending $250 on a bouncer just like it was too painful for me I would rather take some of that money and spend it into other things that can make my life easier if that makes sense I know that some people really love it but I actually ended up getting the baby delight bouncer which I think was only $60 versus $250 I got it in the beige color and I really feel like this bouncer is great it's built really well it's very wide the only thing biggest pet peeve about it is the toy bar it's just so easy to knock over I don't know why they don't just build it well you can literally just like slap it and it will fall but again that's only when we do it like if the baby plays with it she's not gonna pull it down on herself you know but as a bouncer overall I love it just the toy bar on it wasn't my favorite but if you're looking for somewhere to just set your baby down Naomi loved to take naps in it and the toy bar I would add my own toys because the ones it comes with are kind of boring but they always kept her really busy which is great and then finally the last place that I tend to put Naomi often is a play mat so the base one that I use is actually from love every and I really like their play mat because it is super wide it has a lot of really cool textures on it so when baby does tummy time she has things to interact with which I love so Naomi would always do her tummy time on that but as she got older I noticed she wanted to interact more and that's where the Fisher Price piano came in I think it's called the kick and play this is what it looks like yes super bright obnoxious colors but babies love this she loved kicking her little feet on the piano Aaliyah did as well she interacts with the toy bar also and it keeps her busy for a really really long amount of time now that Naomi is rolling over and she does need a little bit more space what I did is I actually took the toy bar from the Fisher Price play mat and I attached it to the love everyone so now she can use the love every mat with the Fisher Price toy mat and I just feel like it's been the best combination she's been a really happy bub playing on that lately and then the last item in this category I don't really know if it belongs in this category but I needed to mention my Duna my Duna stroller you guys a Duna is the best thing ever it's basically a car seat that also has the ability to convert into a mini stroller okay let me paint you guys a little picture if you're a mom that wants to do any kind of errands with her baby and you want it to be quick hassle-free this is something that you need I would be able to do my little target runs take Naomi to the pediatrician's office anything that required just me I would put Naomi in this car seat drive her to the appointment and as soon as I would get there you pop out the car seat pop down the wheels and you have a little stroller without having to move her especially if she fell asleep in her car seat to now go and move her into a stroller you don't know how she's gonna be like that really sucks plus strollers can get really bulky and this is just the quickest thing for you to get to your appointments or do a quick little shopping trip browse around and target whatever you want to do it has really given me my freedom and my independence back and it's just made leaving the house with the baby a lot more enjoyable too the Duna can be really expensive I think it's like 550 bucks but I would recommend you guys check out Facebook marketplace only thing is definitely be sure to go ahead and see the expiration date ask them to send you a photo of that because car seats do expire I was able to buy one that was only a few months old from somebody and I was so ecstatic I got it for only 250 bucks amazing worth it I'm gonna use it for my future kids it's genuinely a genius invention and it makes mom's life a ton easier okay let's quickly talk about baby health and hygiene I just wanted to mention these because I'm really obsessed with them Naomi is a spitter she spits up all the time even an hour after she eats she's constantly spitting up so I always have one of these draped around my shoulder all the time these are really big muslin cloths I got them from Amazon they came in like a pack of 30 and they come in so many different colors I just really like this like blush pink they're so soft and so absorbent literally Naomi would spit up on this and it would suck everything up before it drips down which is the best thing ever I've washed them a million times and they've still stayed very good condition and until this girl stops spitting up I'm gonna be using these all the time so definitely add these to your registry another absolute must of ours is a nose Frida babies especially in the beginning have a ton of fluid whether that be in their nose or it's after the birth sometimes they have a lot of water either gathering in their mouth or in their nose with Naomi the only way we were able to unblock it is using the nose Frida just spray their nose with some saline put this in your mouth and just suck out all of that gunk and I'm telling you very self-explanatory she was able to sleep so much better after we unclogged her nose and it looks a lot scarier than it is it's really really easy and over time she even got used to it she didn't even flinch once we did it I'm not gonna go crazy into baby products but I have to give a shout out to the tubby Todd all over ointment this is a miracle product this is probably my third jar it's brand new because I literally ran out of the other ones both my girls have very sensitive skin but after the shower especially when they're newborns I do like to go ahead and put a little bit of this on anytime there's any 
any kind of redness or bumps or a rash or hives like you put this on and it just goes away if there's any kind of lotion moisturizer cream that you need to put on your baby it's this one forgot to bring it upstairs but baby's nails grow super fast you're gonna want to cut them with Aaliyah I actually used the little tiny baby scissors and those were super easy with Naomi I've actually been having some fun playing around with this nail file it's like a rotating nail file it doesn't hurt them at all you can do it on your own skin it literally just files down the nails as short as possible without hurting baby and it's cute I pretend like Naomi's at a spa whenever I do her nails it's the best okay this I recommend to every single new mom to have on hand at all times this was recommended to me by my midwives with Aaliyah and I've used it for both girls whenever your baby has tummy issues or gas or anything that just makes her colicky or fussy these are probiotic baby drops they are from BioGaia and I get them on Amazon not super cheap but this does last a while if you don't use it all the time I love this because as soon as I give this to Naomi it settles her down she always has a really nice good poop after and it's a probiotic supplement it basically just adds good bacteria to your baby's belly and just helps their digestion work a little bit better so I really love this when Naomi's had spells where she was crying and in pain from gas this always came to the rescue after baby has gas it's usually followed by a big blowout diaper so in terms of which diapers I like to use I don't really have a preference I kind of like them all I've used Huggies, Pampers, Hello Bello, Honest those are my favorites as well but something I will say that everybody needs to have in their house is a diaper genie I specifically like the new diaper genie signature pail because it's much bigger it holds a lot more diapers than usual and I have one upstairs and downstairs because with two kids they're both wearing diapers we are constantly filling these up and then finally the last thing I'm gonna mention definitely not a must-have but I think is possibly one of the best gifts you can give to yourself or you can give a newer expecting mom and that is a little self plug it's actually a halo necklace my husband and I if you guys don't know we actually came out with this line of necklaces with a girl pendant a boy pendant and a heart pendant that you can go and customize the story of your family so you can wear your family close to your heart at all times I'm currently wearing two girl pendants to represent my two daughters if you're really into meaningful jewelry this is possibly the best gift you can give somebody especially if they were waiting to get pregnant for so long or if they have a bigger family it is really the cutest thing ever obviously I'm a little biased but I love this necklace so much I literally never take it off I sleep with it I shower with it I stack it with different necklaces as well because it's just really unique and special and I get asked about it all the time people are always asking me oh my gosh that is the cutest thing ever so if you guys want to go ahead and shop these necklaces I'm gonna leave a link down below I'm actually gonna go ahead and create a discount code only for you guys only the people watching this video if you do want to get your hands on a necklace I'm gonna let you get 25% off your entire order just put in the code mama 25 so if you want 25% off your own halo necklace the link for that will be down below if you guys are watching up to this point comment down below what your situation is are you currently expecting if you are how many months are you did you just have a newborn baby if so how many months is your little baby I really want to know who it is that's watching and if you are watching up to this point you are the real MVPs I always love the ones who stick around until the end if you are watching up to this point then comment down below baby bliss because as much as I know that the newborn stage people can tell you that it's tough it really is and can be at the same time the best experience of your life and hopefully by me sharing all of these products they aid in making the experience a little bit easier for you and I'm also really good at finding deals so I'm really gonna do my best to find you the best price possible as well thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the amazing family we post a bunch of vlogs here with the family as well as some helpful tips some fashion content lifestyle content kind of all around wholesome channel and follow me on instagram as well to kind of see me do life with my girls on the daily love you all so much and i can't wait to see you in my next one